In this final short piece on the life of Jonah, what can we learn from those four chapters in that remarkable story of Jonah? Well, the first is to simply this from chapter four, that we can learn that the powerful preaching of God's word brought repentance. The Ninevites were um, not very nice people at all. They were an angry and violent people and they got their own way through force. And they were the most unlikely candidates, as jo Jonah thought, to repent and turn to God. But Jonah, obeying God on the second time, went and preached to them and they responded. And not only did many people respond, but even the king responded and he uh, urged his people to respond. And so the nation repented, a wonderful example of God's grace and love. And the other thing worth remembering from this story is that God forgave Jonah. Jonah, who had disobeyed God, having called him to preach, Jonah went in the opposite direction. Jonah was unfaithful and turned away from God. And yet God forgave him and gave him a second chance. Also, God wasn't angry with Jonah. He wasn't angry with Jonah that he'd run away to Tarshish and um, missed the opportunity. But God gave him that second choice and taught him a lesson about God's creation uh, through that living parable uh, of the, uh, the plant that withered in the heat and then was eaten by the worm. And also we must never forget in this whole story what the writer is trying to depict, what the writer is trying to convey. It is surely the depth and breadth of God's love and mercy, even to the extent of taking our sin upon himself in the person of Jesus. That's how merciful God is. And so I urge you to read that book and to dwell on the chapters and remembering that God's forgiveness, even to the most unlikely people, can happen. It can happen through the faithful preaching of God's word. And the most unlikely people sometimes do respond. The Ninevites did. The thief on the cross next to Jesus responded to his love. The deserting disciples responded to Jesus' love. Saul, he responded to Jesus' love. Even you and me respond to his love by being his followers. I close with this prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to find space and time in this life to listen to your voice. May we listen and learn and be changed. Help us to see the beauty of your creation which is all around us and may we recognise the love that surrounds us day by day. May we rest in you and be daily renewed through Christ our Lord. Amen.